to be here. No way, it looks crazy. All set up. Your ex signed in. Ready to rip, hey Jimmy? got off the track you know track was good when first got out there it was I was wasn't gonna lie I was being a pussy um, a little scared to hit everything at first but you know that's okay once I got out there started hitting stuff it felt good you know could hit a couple of those big holes tracks pretty mulched right now but that's okay wait for a little bit get back out there you know feels good to be back out on the sled again so pretty slow first jumped on the sled did a, did a little sight lap and actually really felt like uh not off the sled for probably I didn't feel like I got off the sled at all so which is good I like the new sled it's got good power I just got to keep it rolling I feel way stronger now that we've been training and definitely in a lot better shape than last year why you do your own work on your own sleds man yes sir <laughs> what's up not much not in Bolton yep not Bolton oh wait that's a shoot Holy shit, dude. I, I have a better one. Jimmy Jr.'s got something on his leg here. Hurry up. Yeah, the film's rolling out. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Emo coma. I don't even know. What the fuck? I'm just running it for the season. If it gets redder, if it hurts, then we gotta go somewhere, but... <laughs> Check this out in Sweden. Holy shit. Yeah, it's a monster. That is a fucking crazy. That's so big. Can't get the gas cap open. <laughs> you little girl. Yeah, you got, you got a pizza. A pizza. You are a pizza. We got Friday night practice out here right now. We got Nikki Lorenz coming up here. How'd you sleep on that air mattress? Landed on the floor about midnight. How about you, Johnny? You know, it wasn't bad. It was a little, it was a little rocky at first. There's about 800 blankets on it, but get the welcome, fuck that. Welcome to my bedroom. We're at Jansen's house. We got two seven design headquarters. Two seven designs is in my backyard. <laughs> I got. It's cool. Oh yeah. You need a spotter? Or are you good? You Look at this guy. Money. This is no <laughs> problem. No problem. Oh, that's it. Six. It's good. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Jimmy, what's the problem? I dumped the whole bag of clothes. I just organized it, man. Would you forget to zip it up? No, this well, I, I can't zip it up. There's too much shit in it. Oh, so you forgot to zip it up? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Next three months in here. Next three months in this room. Works. Let's go check out mine. These guys go hard on the bikes. Jansen and the crew. Here it is. Check it out. Christoph's bed. Christoph's bed. <laughs> the coach, whenever he's over. Got my little single. My dresser. It goes. It's not bad, man. Are you on the Trump train? Trump 2020, cut the bullshit. <laughs> Perfect. Pete Kirkman. Dude, look at the Dude, crust. Pizza, it looks like a crust. This pizza is fine. Okay? You want it here? I'll show you what the problem is. That is the problem. You gotta put on a pizza. Oh, 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 oh my god. Way to go. Way to go, boys. There you go. I'm on it. Oh, fuck. Shut up. Nice job, Christoph. Nice pizza you made. 
Well, you made it worse now there, stove dog. Okay, you can get me a step stool or have a tall guy get back there because I can't reach the ceiling. Preston, you're out. I'm not banning. I'm going to take it down. But like, how about you get out of the fucking truck, Randy? <laughs> okay. So I climb up on the fucking frame, right? It's on the side. Yeah. I climb up. No, and that's what I said. I climb up on the frame and I open the door. And I'm like, how about you get out of my fucking truck, Randy? And he goes, okay. And I said, don't you break that fucking passenger window either, or you're fired. Because he's like, gonna, I mean, he's a big boy. And he's going to try and climb out of here, right? And I'm going to break my side window. Yeah. So finally, oh, I help him. the truck on the side already. Yeah. This is a big deal. Yeah. Right. And I, I, so I help him out of the cab. I get him out there. And I sit down to him and I'm like, Randy, what if the truck was on fucking fire? <laughs> You're just going to sit in there and burn, go down with the ship, Captain, or what? I'm like, dude, if the truck rolls over, get the fuck out. Get out of the truck. So, anyways, that was a fun day. I mean, it's record came there. We hooked up some cables, pulled her back over. I drove. I drove. Much damage on there. Uh, broke the mirror. Kind of fucked the door a little bit. But it wasn't too bad. Oh, it broke. Fuck the arm. I had to make new gears in the arm that night. I was up for another fucking twenty-four hour shift to fix that garbage truck too. I think that was that was only fuck up number one of three in three months. So he cost me about five grand just in tow bills in the first three months. <laughs> you want to see the? He, I got a real so nice. So he's not truck. getting a very good Christmas bonus. No, I pulled a hunt. I, I pulled a buck fifty from him because I'm like, here's the thing, buddy. Either you're fired or you're taking a buck fifty pay cut. He's like, I'll take the pay cut. I'm like, okay. You, you, you ducked this guy's he, pay. Yeah, you kidding me? Here's the other one. Here, this was literally two weeks later. <laughs> what he he put her right in the bush. Okay. <laughs> okay? And that, 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 look at that. That was a nice truck before that happened. I literally straightened the bumper with the fucking wheel loader. Look at this. Yeah, I remember this. I was pulling dents with the wheel loader in the shop. Okay? This is the life that I live, boys. And here, literally, this is two weeks after that. No, no way. I'm not shitting you. Okay? This is Randy again? Right. So then the other, <laughs> yeah, so Randy literally, this is the other one. I hope so, Randy don't watch the vlog. I ain't watching the vlog. Anyway, right, and that's when I told him. I said, you step on my fucking passenger window and break it, fired. <laughs> and I helped him up. He climbed, he's like climbing up the seats, you know. And I grab his hand and I help him out of the truck. And that's when I had a little conversation about him where I'm like, Randy, why didn't you get out of the truck? <laughs> Just said, uh, second moto of the day. Christopher's first day here, so we did some changes, messed with some bar setup and messed with some suspension. You tell them what you did, Christoph. Just trying to mess around with low speed, high speed, uh, trying to get him to recognize what is actually changing so that we know what changes need to be made. I'm super bad for that. I, I, mean, I really don't know what's going on in the sled. Like, you make, we'll make a change and I think it's good. And, it's Christopher's first day, I guess. I don't really know what I'm uh, what I'm messing with. Usually, I, by myself. So today was a good day. It was a good start to the day, anyway. But uh, let's uh, look at these guys. Let's go check out these guys on it. Check these guys out. What are these things? 440. What year? 98. Are you guys gonna win the grassroots snowcross on this thing? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Good job, guys. That's awesome. Look at this guy, he's still giving her out there. <laughs> so we just got done 
Uh, second day of riding yesterday was off today, so it was a good day. We got a lot of stuff done, felt comfortable on the sled. Tomorrow we're not riding here, X is closed. We're gonna go down to the Polaris race shop in Wausau, pick up a few more sleds. Our race sleds are there, but uh, the trailer never fails. We always seem to have some sort of problem. Hey, always happens. Trailer dead, truck dead. <laughs> click, 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 click. Always something. Anybody at ERX got booster cables? Going searching for booster cables now, we'll ask. We'll ask Adam Peterson, see if he's got any. Yo. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> you recorded? Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't happen to have booster cables, would you? Yeah, of course our shit's in dead. My, in my toolbox of the white truck here, there's some. Hooking us up. Boosting shit. Nothing, nothing new, nothing changes. Nope. Oh. Just a different setup. Well, we got her running. Took a couple tries. What? Capital letters, junk. What's he say? <laughs> oh On our way to uh, to the Polaris race shop today, we're gonna go down and pick up my race sled. Connor's new race sled's there too, but we only got the dually. Yeah. Just uh, room for one. Yeah. We gotta get some throttle blocks and stuff like that for the class. Yeah, the junior class throttle block. Pick uh, up some odds and ends here and there down there. Yeah, they're gonna flash our data, our ECUs to the new tune, so hopefully the sleds are a little bit better. Uh, we rode yesterday quite a bit, and we'll be back on the sleds tomorrow. Keep it down. So, just pulling up to the race shop. Couple rigs. So, there's Tony right there. up the race sled at the race shop any big dog this is sick some sleds over here. sleds hopping in the trailer right now loading her on up junior loading us up thanks junior looking good looking good beauty dropping her down Ooh, getting her dialed. Look at that baby. Thanks, Cody Let's Cam. Thank you, Cody, for the freshie for the year. We're just leaving the race shot now. So sick. Pretty cool in there. Dream come true to be able to, to go and check that stuff out. Never seen anything like that before. All the cool M, uh, most like memorabilia sleds like Cody Cam's Champ Sled, Ross Martin's last sled that he rode. There's some other cool sleds in there as well. That's a dream, baby. One time, just get one, one of my sleds or I'll be up there one day, baby. It was so sick. Everything you could ever see. 